Hey, welcome to my studio. I'm Mont in Mont Pilates and Yoga. And today I want to just take you through a short strength and a stretch yoga lattes class. So um, I've got three pound weights with me today. Um, feel free to use one to two to three pound weights. Um, and throughout class, we might just pick one up or two. Um, a yoga block can be used in between your knees if you really want to engage your inner thighs or like a squishy little ball um, is something else that can be used. So um, we will go through a few, um, through a Pilates move and then we'll kind of rest for a few yoga breaths. So we're going to be going back and forth with our breath, yoga and Pilates. And I'll try to cue you um, as we go from one to the other. And if all else fails, just breathe. Also, throughout class, listening to your body, um, this is your practice. So just remember that. I'm not there right there with you, so I can't quite tell what you're doing. So if it doesn't feel right for you, chances are it's not right for you. Um, so it's not worth the risk. Just um, come into a child's pose, or if you're on your back, feel free just to hug your knees in and rock from side to side. And you just take some time to breathe and, and then jump right back into what we're doing. Uh, we'll also try to give some modifications as well. So please take that modification if you need it. All right, I hope you enjoy. Let's get on our mats, in my case, carpet. So maybe you're on your carpet too. Um, and as you can tell, I'm just gonna, I just got back from uh, running. So excuse my appearance this morning. I'm um, jumping around to the shower after this, but perfect time to work on ab strength right after a run. It's my favorite time. So. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed as well. So back onto your back here. And we're just going to start by breathing. I've got my hands on my belly. I'm just going to take several yoga breaths. So when I say yoga breaths, it's an inhale through your nose. Your belly rises and exhale out of your nose. Inhaling. And exhaling. It's very calming breath. You know, the Pilates breath is a little bit more powerful. So let's find that. Let's go ahead and bend your knees. Um, and do me a favor here. Pick up your head, tuck your chin, and then bring your head back down. You might need to adjust your ponytail if you've got one. And that way your chin's tucked and you're lengthened all the way through your back and behind your head. Finding your lower ribs, let's inhale through your nose. So belly's gonna rise, but you're gonna feel your ribs kind of opening here. Exhale out of your mouth, belly button pulls to your spine. See, much, uh, it's a lot more powerful. This time, let's arch through your lower back. So you can feel your pelvis shift forward there. And then bring your pelvis towards you as you exhale, kind of tucking your pelvis. It's rounding back towards you. Arch. Exhale out of your mouth, round. And now neutral spine. So you're flat right here. So you're not moved forward. You're not tilted back. Um, you're flat. So you should have like a coffee mug. And it, if throughout class, when you're on your back, that coffee mug is not going to spill out any coffee because you're going to be very quiet, flat, and controlled through there. Neutral spine. All right, hands on your hips. Let's move through neutral spine, warming up our hips. Inhale. And I want you to focus on that exhale as you bring your foot down. I want you to focus there and engage your abs so you're not slamming your foot down. There, one more. Awesome. All right, we're gonna move right into the ab series, a little warm up. So I'm gonna have my weights close by, then I'm gonna grab my weights in some of these moves. Um, and throughout the whole time you're in Pilates, you should always have a little touch and gazing down. So you'll notice I'll come out of that and I'm gonna look at the camera just out of habit, kind of looking at you um, as I'm talking, but just don't mind me. Remember just to gaze down as best as you can if you can remember that. All right, so as you exhale, let's draw our knees over our hips. So you can stay here for your 100. You can draw your shoulder blades up. Again, chest tucked a little harder, flat stomach, legs straight up, and then out at an angle even harder. All right, five inhales, five exhales as you beat down forcefully. 
One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Six. Exhale. Seven, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, and five. Great job. Ooh. All right, double knees are next. I am going to incorporate one of my weights. So again, shoulder blades, I'm gonna keep mine lifted. You can bring yours down and then exhale, extend out. If you need to extend here, a little easier, go for it. All right, exhale, two, neutral spine. Good, three, good, four, five, six, seven, last one. Awesome, relax. All right, single straight legs. I'm not going to incorporate weights for this one. Left hand is going to come onto my left knee, right hand around my left shin or ankle, and I'm going to extend my right leg out, drawing my shoulder blades up. Yours can stay down. And as you exhale, let's switch with control. Inhale and exhale. And three. Good. Four. Five. Last one. Six. Great job. Relax. All right, so we've got straight legs next. So we're gonna grab your left calf. Um, again, you can grab your hamstring. Shoulders can stay down or you're gonna lift them up and extend that right leg out. All right, chin's tucked. Inhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale. Three. Good, four. Five. Six. Relax. All right, just two more moves, and then we're going to ease into a Pilates, I mean, into a yoga um, pose, and we'll just relax in our yoga breath. So we have double straight legs, leg drops, you might have heard them called. So your hands can come back behind your neck this time when you bring your um, shoulder blades up, as long as you don't really press on your neck. Your hands can come to your lower back as well, or just along your sides. And you can do this with bent knees and dip your toes down. All right. And you can go one leg at a time as well. All right. Soft shoulders, get them down away from your ears, gaze down. And let's go exhale, lower, keep neutral spine, right back up. And two. Don't let your lower back arch. Good. Three. Four. Two more. Five. And last one. Great job. All right, we have bikes left. We're gonna go for 10 of these. So let's jump right into it. Shoulder blades up, elbows out wide, and exhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, and two, three. Even better, think shoulder to knee, four. Keep those elbows out, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now you get to relax, breathe easy, inhaling and exhaling out of your nose. Awesome. Keep those knees in. Let's just let them fall to the left, gaze right. So feel any tension in your back and Spend time here just to let it go. Let's see what that tension feels like. Letting your knees fall to the right, this time with left. Whew. Maybe one side, you can feel a little bit more tense than the other. And back to center. All right, let's roll like a ball. 
forehead to your knees. Big exhale, rock up. And find your balance here. Get tucked. And you want to keep that same rounded, tucked position. Inhale back with control to your shoulders. Exhale up, right back up. The same speed. And two. Big exhale. Three. And four. And five. All right, we're going to work through a seat curve. Great warm up for the roll up. So I'm going to grab my weights for the seat curve move. You don't have to have weights at all. Feet either flexed or grounded. Let's start with those arms up towards the sky. So this would be a perfect spot to work on inner thighs and put the, a yoga block in between there. I just happen to have mine right here. I might just keep mine today there. So engaging inner thighs as well. All right, you see nice long spine, soft shoulders, and then you're gonna begin to tuck your pelvis, tuck your chin, belly button pulls in and round back. Let's get a little bicep work. So come here, squeeze your biceps. Inhale right back up. And two. Okay, three, four, a little shaking going on, that's a good thing. All right, let's stay put right here. Now let's go out and in. Exhale, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big inhale. And let's come back again, exhale. Let's cross over, exhale, one, two. It's like you're punching. Good, three, four. Exhale, cross, five. Last one, six. Awesome, and right back up, drop your weights. We're going to yoga breathe here as we bring our forehead to knees and just hug the back of your legs. Relax through your back. All right, so come up. Let's take a few seated cat and cows. So open up your knees into cow pose as you open up your chest and gaze up. Big inhale and draw your knees together, rounds back. Exhale. You can exhale out of your mouth or, or you know, nose yoga breath. Out of habit, I'll go out of my mouth. There. As long as you're breathing, right? All right, last one. All right, straighten out your legs. I'm going to grab one weight for this. We're going to round and reach, and then we're going to come back. So as you round, so pelvis tucks, chin tucks, I want you to reach to the front wall. So you get a little stretch in the back of your legs, but keeping this rounded position, belly button is pulled in and up, supporting you. Shoulders are soft. Inhale back, and then exhale. It's almost like C-curve with straight legs. Round and reach. Inhale, exhale back. Take one more. Round and reach. And back. Let's stay right here. I'm going to drop my weight. I'm going to open my arms up for earthquake. So we're going to hold for five. You can guess kind of why this is called earthquake. I hope you can. For five. Good. Four, three, two, one. Can you stay where you are? and continue to exhale and lower all the way down. Lots of control. All right, I'm gonna scooch. <laughs> that happens a lot where you scooch off of the camera or your mat or you know your pants are down near your feet. So <laughs> no worries. Readjust if you need to as well. We're gonna ease into our roll up. So I am gonna use one weight for this. My arms come back behind me, feet are flexed. While you're here, you might have to tuck your pelvis a little bit just to get into neutral spine to feel grounded. All right, we're going to take two modified versions of this. Inhale, arms overhead, neutral spine. Exhale, shoulder blades only. Lift it up off the mat. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale. 
Good. Inhale. And exhale. All right. If you can come all the way up, let's go for three. But uh, exhale, legs stay quiet and glued. Round and reach. Inhale, lengthen to the sky and round back. Exhale. Slow. All right. If your legs want to come up off the ground, stick with the modified or drop that weight and put your arm down. Exhale to come up. Inhale, lengthen. Arm comes back down to help you come down. So your legs need to stay glued. All right, one more. This is a very challenging move. Inhale, because it's ab strength, ab strength, ab strength, but now hip flexors and legs are involved. So it's way more than just abs. <laughs> That's why it's so hard. All right, and let's just hang out here. Let's wait everyone to kind of catch up. Maybe hand on your belly. We're going to go into reverse crunches next, which is just such a great um, first step to get the full rollover. So let's just kind of hang in reverse crunches for today. The way I do reverse crunches is we're going to start right back here. Palms down easy, palms up a little harder. And then, of course, um, you can place your hands underneath your lower back for support. Extremely hard would be your arms are here. <laughs> so you pick your poison. We're gonna inhale, knees to chest, bum lifts, and then pause. Exhale, use that strength to come down with control. Good, lift, lower. Let's take three more. Good, two. And last one. All right, let's relax here and just rock yoga breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Right, and lowering your legs down. We're going to work on holding a bridge pose so heels are in. Again, this might be another wonderful time to place the block between your knees or squishy ball to engage your inner thighs. And let's one vertebrae at a time, press up into bridge. So arms are nice and long. You can always interlace them underneath you. And just watch that you're not popped out, but you're drawn in. Okay, ribs are in. Press the ground away. Shoulders are grounded, feet are grounded. Squeezing your glutes for five. Okay, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna slowly come out of this. And then we're just gonna hold one leg. So your choice, you can extend your leg up. You could kind of take a little pigeon. You could just sort of let your foot hang. Or you could step that foot out a little farther beyond your left. So it's really there for balance using your left leg primarily. All right, let's lift up, squeeze your left glute, press into your left heel for five. Good, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Same thing, other side. Press through that right, squeeze that right for five. Good, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, take your feet out wide. Let's windshield wiper. Yoga breath. And then bring the soles of your feet together for cobbler. Check in, belly rising as you breathe. One more. Draw your knees in. Forehead to knees. Let's rock up one rolling like a ball. Big exhale. Try not to put your feet down and let's maybe if you can grab onto the outsides of your feet and let's find balance here. You can always keep your knees bent and hold for five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Can you let go of your feet and then just slowly let them lower down? You can put your hands back behind you if you need. All right, legs are out wide. Let's jump right into soft stretch. 
So you're gonna take your little pinky and saw off your little toe. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Good, let's take one more. And release. We're going to work in planks. We're going to take one minute holds and then two 30 second planks. So um, your plank could be on your, I'm just getting my timer ready. Your plank can be on your hands or forearms. I'm going to go on my forearms because I always go on my hands. So just as a challenge to me. Um, and your knees can come down for a modified or you can be on your toes. All right, so let's go right here, holding for one minute. Strong arms, press the ground away. Press your heels back so your legs are engaged and squeeze your glutes. It's hard to get your booty up too high if, you're, if your glutes are squeezed. And then just get straight down. Belly button pulls in. Three seconds. Okay, 20. And relax. Just press into a little child's pose. We're going to take two, let's just do two 20 second planks next. All right, this next one, I'm going to challenge you to bring your knee to your elbow or your tricep. You can do this from tabletop. You can do it from a modified plank or a full plank. And you can just hold your plank too or take any other variation of plank if the Spider Man plank doesn't work for you. All right, let's go. And of course, this can be done on your forearms too, even more challenging. I'm coming back to my hands. Exhale, exhale. And child's pose again, release. Nice job. All right, for this last plank, I'm going to challenge you to do supine belly up. Or you can take a tabletop. So shoulders back and down, plant your hands. So go into a tabletop or a plank. 20 seconds, let's go. Pressing your hips up, gaze up or back, squeezing your glutes, pressing the ground away. And don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds. And release. All right, let's find a comfortable seat just for a moment and take a shoulder roll to the back. Yoga breath, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. All right, and maybe taking a few little wrist rolls. And go in the other direction. I'm gonna take a little bit of leg work next. So I'm gonna ease onto my right side here. A little leg work and of course some ab work. All right, so my right arm, I'm on my right side. My right arm's just gonna come out in front of me. This bottom knee you can bend and this top arm's gonna to come over. So I'm gonna come up. So I want you to be able to squeezing hip and ribs come together and then I'm gonna lower down and then I'm just gonna take a leg lift. Okay, so we're gonna do a few of those. So let's go exhale. And leg lift, exhale. And two. Good, three. Four. Five. Six. Two more, seven. Last one, eight. Six, 
stay right here. Leg lift. 10, good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that leg up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right, we're gonna come onto your back pigeon. So just take that same leg that you just worked on top of your right thigh and draw that thigh in. Ooh, breathe into that left hip. Left booty just works hard. Whew. So we're gonna go to the other side. You can either roll over to that side or I don't wanna put my back to you. So I'm gonna do one roll up. So you can roll like a ball as well. All right. So I'm gonna get into my roll up position. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale up. And I'm just gonna switch. All right, so we've got eight of those crunches and then leg lifts. So let's go with that crunch right here. Eight. Leg lift only. Seven. Good. Six. Five, four, two, and one. Stay with that leg lift. Ten, good, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Keep your leg up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. All right. Let's ease into pigeon on this side. Oh, really breathe in the yoga breath. Find that breath, get it controlled, inhaling fully. And as you exhale, focus on just softening that muscle. One more. Ooh. All right, we are gonna rock up. This time we're gonna roll up into a boat pose, which we're whole. So let's take your forehead to your knees. Big exhale, rock up and pause here right into your boat. Now, feel free to bring your hands down for a modified boat or hands back behind your thighs. Keep your chest lifted. Hold for five. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. So we're going to grab our weights for the next boat. So with your weights going to be up here, you might want to go really light or you could put your feet down for this and just come back into to your upper glutes as if you're in a boat. Um, but if you can find boat, and we're gonna go down into a lap pull down, exhale. And two, good, three, four, good, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Awesome, relax. All right, let's try to get a little bit of tricep in. We did not. So let's find boat again. And again, feel free to bring your feet down, grab really light weights, and we're gonna take a tricep move, press up. So you can't see me, but when I press up, my weight, the bottom of the weight is going straight up towards the sky, so I don't know. Okay, so with your arms there, it's going to take a lot of balance here. So if you don't feel good, then sit up completely and just come into that. Okay, so it's really challenging here. A good light for one. Good, two, press up. Ooh, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's relax for a moment. It is very challenging in that position. So again, placing your feet down, really light weights, but it takes a lot of lower back strength and I'm definitely engaging your abs to protect your lower back. All right, last one. So from here, let's come back to boat and we're gonna take a shoulder press, one arm, press up, one, two, get three, exhale, exhale, four, and five, Good, six, seven, last one. And great job, relax. Get your back relaxed. And just come back to a comfortable seat. And that is class. I wanna um, stretch you out just a little bit here. Um, the beautiful part about yoga a is just to take an arm across is that we are doing a little bit of stretching in between these moves. So we're stretching throughout class. Let's drop that hand to your knee, a little twist. And back to center, arm across, breathe. Just drop your hand and twist. From here, interlace your fingers. So I'm taking my palms up towards the sky. I'm gonna drop my right elbow. So my left elbow ends up towards the sky. My right elbow is pointing down, getting a great stretch through my tricep on the left side here. You might feel this in your shoulder a little bit. Good, back to center, big inhale, lengthen. Just drop that left elbow. Good. Inhale, lengthen. And release fingertips ground down. Let's exhale, drop an ear to a shoulder and just kind of relax through your neck here. You can get so tense when we're working on our abs. Back to center and exhale, drop your other ear. Back to center, big inhale, reach up for the sky. And release, Let's come into prayer. Thumbs pressed to your chest, gaze down, close your eyes or do both. And just um, acknowledge yourself for showing up this morning and um, coming to um, finding this video and hitting play. And, you know, it really, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it doesn't take long. Um, it's just consistency is what really, really matters. So just acknowledge yourself for, for um, knowing that, your health is important and you're making it a priority. So you can work on your strength and, and health. So that way you can show up for others um, in a, just a healthier, positive, stronger way. Um, our job in this world is to be there and to love on our neighbors. So that could be friends, family, strangers, the community, but that's our job. That's why we're here is to love others. But you can't do a good job with that if you're not loving yourself and taking care of yourself too. So good for you. Let's take one more breath. Exhale it out. And I'm going to say amen to that. You can say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this um, little strength and stretch yoga Lottie's class. And I hope to see you back here again. Have a wonderful day and um, take care. Bye.